see Anita. I haven't seen most of your faces and I still can't see all of them now. <laughs> but it's an honour to be able to come and share in this service today. So welcome to Anita and all of the family here and the friends. And for those joining online, we welcome you to this service of celebration and thanksgiving. Let us open our hearts to the Lord Jesus in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, may Anita and all the members of her family and friends know the comfort of God who reaches out from the depth of his heart. May all know the comfort and the love from each other and most of all to know the touch of the love of the Lord Jesus Christ who is present with us in our grief. Amen. I was listening to the music as we were coming in today. It was the power of love. And certainly that's the theme of this service today. And the first person to give a tribute is going to be James. Due to current circumstances, we don't have enough time to say everything we would like to say today. So here's a short tribute to my little sister, MJ. Born the youngest of the only girl of five brothers, 
who was a beautiful golden locks and massive smile, used to chase around after me when we were children. Emma turned into a right little tomboy. She liked to follow me around wherever I go, copy me everything I did, from climbing trees, from playing hide and seek in our family home in Lewin on Stepside. MJ, you won this one. I don't know where you're hiding this time. <laughs> but I know you are in my heart. I have many, many memories of days spent together, given her positive ways to be and advice on how to approach life. Be determined and positive attitude. We shared our love of people, which we got from our mum, always trying to see the best in everyone. The relationship between my mum and Emma was unbreakable. Not only were they mother and daughter, they were best friends. Each a lifeline to each other, always a shoulder to lean on at moments notice. Mum gave her life and saw her first breath. Then in the most heartbreaking way, Mum had to experience something which no parent should ever have to see, having to watch her baby little girl take her last breath. Mum, I hope you find some comfort in knowing that there was no one else, else Emma would rather have preferred by her side other than her partner Sophie, and that you, you showed dedication and gave, your, gave, it, gave it right to the end. Having said that, Emma was blessed to spend eight years of her life with a wonderful woman by her side, Sophie. Emma and Sophie raised four incredible children together, one being Harvey. Together they created a loving, stable, fun home, enjoying family outings, taking long walks, creating memories, which Sophie would forever cherish. Each made sacrifices in order to succeed. First Emma for Sophie, so she could climb her career ladder and Sophie to back to help Emma achieve her certificates in care and go back to work, which she loved. Emma was loved by everybody, including her service users. However, shortly after returning to work, Emma was hit by this tragedy. Sophie did everything she could looking after Emma and their children alongside researching every avenues and treatment for her, holding on to every last hope. Sophie, if not for you, we would not have this extra time with Emma. So thank you for everything you did and loving my sister the way you did with your big heart. Emma called me her guru, but the truth is she taught me just as much watching her grow from that little girl into a teenager, living life carefree, making the most out of life and her friends like her bestie Diane, who she said so many tales from Mitch in school and spending them in Kiln Park, from roaming the beaches. And once she got stuck on a rock, had to be rescued by the inshore lifeboat. I was in the paper the next day, star at last day. Eh? Emma grew to be a beautiful woman, both inside and out, and eventually became a mother herself. Emma was an excellent mum, full of love, fun and adventure. She raised Harvey to be polite, respectful, Harvey, you are a credit to your mum, and I know exactly how proud she is of you. You meant everything to her, and always will. Emma, like us, all had her hardships, moments, and some public displays, which I remember so much. <laughs> you would find her fighting for the truth. She hated lies and injustice and unfairness. Emma would often come to me for advice to see things in the, and put them in a different perspective for her. Emma, you have been taken away from us way too soon in your prime but you leave behind a legacy of the importance of having a big heart, an amazing smile, a quiet manner, and ensuring always to put the people we love first. We love you, MJ, and always will, and always miss you. Never forgotten, little sis. You're joining the angels now. Till we meet again. Now Steve's going to come and read a poem. God saw you getting tired, and a cure was not to be. So he put his arms around you and whispered, come with me. With tearful eyes, we watched you suffer and saw you fade away. Although we loved you dearly, we could not make you stay. A golden heart stopped beating, hard working hands at rest. God broke our hearts to prove he only takes the best. It's lonesome here without you. We miss you more each day. Life doesn't seem the same since you have gone away. When days are sad and lonely and everything goes wrong, we seem to hear you whisper, Cheer up and carry on. In life we loved you dearly, in death we love you still. In our hearts you hold a place that no one else could ever fill. It broke our hearts to lose you, but you didn't go alone, for part of us went with you the day God took you home. I just got something else uh, which was really nice and I'd like to share this with you as well. If roses grow in heaven, Lord, please pick a bunch for me. Place them in my sister's arms and tell her they're from me. Tell her that I love her, miss her, and when she turns to smile, 
place a kiss upon her cheek and hold her for a while. Because remembering you is easy, I do it every day. There's an ache within my heart that will never go away. Well, I was so happy to be able to see that video with all the different pictures and everything that went with it. I've heard such lovely things about Emma through her mother, Anita, James and Steve, and I'm sure that you could also share so many of the same experiences. The tributes speak for themselves from Steve and James, and then this uh, video as well. It's just lovely. Love is the most powerful force in the whole world. And I know that Emma's had a lot of friends over the years. Emma came to that point in her life during her illness when she responded to the love of God in a wonderful and full way. In the presence of death, Christians have sure ground for hope and confidence and even for joy. Because the Lord who shared our human life and death was raised triumphant and lives forevermore. And that's the hope for all who know the Lord Jesus, present with the Lord, and there'll be a glorious resurrection one day. 
Let us stand together for the committal. We are met in these moments to commit Emma, Jane Gilpin, into the wonderful hands of our Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, you have made us all and given your Son for our salvation. We commend Emma, Jane Gilpin, into your wonderful hands. For as much as Emma has departed out of this life, and Almighty God in his great mercy has called her to himself, we therefore commit her body to the elements, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. Eternal God, who scatters the stars into the blackness of space, who watches even the smallest sparrow fall, who knows the wonder of joy and the agony of despair, and who delights in all he has made, we trust Emma into your loving care through Jesus Christ our Lord. And may the light of Christ pierce the darkness of your grief. May the love of Christ lift your spirits and gladden each day. May the caprice of Christ fill your hearts and comfort your sorrow. And may Christ the Saviour walk by your side as he did with Emma, today and tomorrow. And may the blessing of our eternal God and Father be with you all now, through our Lord Jesus Christ, and in the strength of his Holy Spirit. We pray these things in his precious name. Amen. There's a place by the sea and